Hi, this is George Krager, and I want to talk to you just for a moment about the skinny on the structural strength of chairs. The reality is almost all church chairs on the market have very good vertical structural strength. In other words, the, the uh, steel that is used is a high gauge and it, it, the chair is not going to collapse. However, that's vertical strength. Lateral stability is where a lot of church chairs come up short. Lateral stability is how well is the left side of the chair connected to the right side of the chair or the right side to the left side, vice versa. Let me just share with you, as I flip this chair over, this particular chair has five what we call cross members. See, this is a cross member. Here's a second one. Here's a third one. Here's a fourth one. And then on the back of the chair is one what would be near the top of the chair or on the bottom of this since I have it upside down. Five significant cross members holding the right side of the chair to the left side of the chair, providing a great amount of lateral stability. I actually see some chairs where this these sort of cross members are almost non-existent. They're far less uh, significant. And some chairs actually have book racks where you can't get the chair without a book rack because the book rack is maybe one of the few things holding the right side of the chair to the left side of the chair. As you're evaluating church chairs, be sure to look. What is the lateral stability like? What are those cross members like? Go for strength. You want good, solid lateral stability. And that's the skinny on chair structure.